<sighs> shouldn't be that tired after just jumping over there. Right, I'm out on my bike to cook a bushcraft breakfast in the woods. Um, hopefully, I'm going to find some mushrooms to add to it, so let's have a look. Right, here's my weapon. Just an odd steel rally that uh, I painted up to blend in and whatever. My panniers on back. I've got some cooking gear in there. I've seen what looks like the mother load of hedgehog mushrooms. Fingers crossed. Let's go and have a look and see if they're uh, see if they're not being peppered by insects. My word! Look at this. All hedgehog mushrooms, and it it sort of. It runs in an S shape all the way down there and also up here it runs all the way up this hill as well. So this is like finding, tr it's like treasure mate, it's, it's just like finding treasure. Beautiful mushroom, look at that. Let me just. Now, and this is one of the ones, so there's only, you know, there's only a handful of mushrooms that I'll eat, that I find when I'm out, that I, that I know are legit. And this is one of them. Probably one of the easiest because, well, let me just say this, just, just as a, for anyone who's new here, if, <laughs> Take what I say with a pinch of salt about anything, mate, because, um, you know, I do a lot of different things, so it's hard It's hard for me to be um, clued up fully on one thing because I don't have the time. Like spearfishing, wild camping, foraging, landscaping. I've got so many hobbies and so many things that I do that I can't, I'm not an expert in any of them. I'm just like a, a jack of all trade, <laughs> a master of none. Uh, you know, like Morrison's own brand, like a supermarket's own brand. Just can do a lot of things, but not very well. So, you know, I mean, in a recent video, I, I edited it out, but it was, uh, I said that um, it was, uh, I think it was a wood bluet that I said was a amethyst deceiver, which was wrong. As I say, don't really listen to me, mate. Just do your own research, cross-reference things in books. Um, don't rely on apps and things like that. And please, in, unless you're 100% sure of what it is, don't eat it because shrooms can just turn on you, mate. They're they're amazing things, you know. They're really good for you and they can make you see <laughs> make you see fractals and that. Or, you know, make you connect with nature in ways that you've never connected with nature before. But they can also log you off permanently in uh, horrific and painful ways. That being said, let's get into this look. This is... Uh, a hedgehog mushroom and you can tell that because instead of gills it has these you see these like little bristly spines which they come off quite easy look really satisfying actually <laughs> um, they ain't got many look-alikes as well as a terracotta hedgehog mushroom which is just a smaller oranger version than this but it ain't gonna kill you and it is one of the best eating mushrooms you can find. So to find this many is pretty cool. Um, but I'm just going to take what I need. I'm just going to take... I'll, well, let's have this lad for breakfast as part of my breakfast. Um, I've got a paper bag. I'll just chuck a few in there um, just to take home for myself. And maybe a couple for some friends on the way home. I can drop them off. But, so these... these uh, these spines on the bottom, you can they're perfectly edible, but hey, shave it, mate. Let's give it a Brazilian. 
full Hollywood look. Paul Hollywood. Um, they, if I'm putting them in a bag, especially if I'm foraging other mushrooms or if I'm cooking up something and I want it to look nice, then I'll just take these off just out in the field because they can make a mess of your cooking. They can go everywhere uh, and they'll go everywhere in your bag. But, and this is where they, that's where they keep their, uh, their spores. Not that that's a bad thing and not that they're not edible, but well, there you go, look. All shaved and ready for photo shoot. There she is, look. Beautiful specimen. I'm just scanning from the road, just well, from the track. I'm just scanning, looking for mushrooms as I go, and I'll pick them up. Pick them up as I see them. And then we'll go and get a breakfast cooked up. This is a great start to the day. I'm out in the middle of nowhere here, but you always find friggin' like, what's this, a number two or something, or an S. It's just balloons, helium filled balloons that just drift out and just come down and like, it's the same with them Chinese lanterns. No need, no need for it, I'll take that home. So I've just come through to this darker area which is full, fully pine, I mean, where I found the original load, there was a lot of uh, there's a lot of beach in here. It's just thick with pine, and there's a circle of hedgehogs here as well, and they look to be in good. They look to be in good, good fettle look. Beauty. I might take a couple of these anyway. I was reading that uh, hedgehog mushrooms, when like scientists have done tests on them, and. Um, they're supposed to be good for fatigue. So, maybe a great breakfast, you know, a great way to start your day. Like having a big, greedy spoonful of Bolivian marching powder for your brekkie. <laughs> Bumper. Bumper crop. Stinky, that is. Bumper crop. A few handfuls in there. Not bad at all. Spot some over here that's quite quite interesting, I'll take you to have a look. I'll just pop this on here. Right, come and have a look at this. There. Might just look like a normal, a normal pile of gubbins, but it's actually a wood ant's nest. Huge, look at it. So what you can see there, that's the that's the top of it. That it will be mirrored underneath as well, so that is pretty big. I'll just pull a bit away, see if I can see any. I'll put it back. Lads, there. There they are, look, lads. <laughs> that's cool. And you can see, look, that in here it's like dirt and then similarly how like you know like how we'll build, make a thatched roof that's what they use it's all it's all pine and you know wooded material and stuff like that so it's like a thatched roof clever stuff right <laughs> later wood ants that's a big one that like see you later where can you put mushrooms so they won't get smashed to bits? Put them in bag. Put them in the bag.
<laughs> this is even madder on bike in it coming back. For, look at that, stunt man, Eddie the Eagle, whatever. <laughs> Eddie the Eagle. Uh, Eddie Kidd, I mean. Eddie the Eagle. He was a, wasn't he a skier or something. Right, anyway. Do you appreciate the effort? Biking off and coming back to get me camera because it didn't. Bit of effort that look. Oh, for anyone that don't know, I've said this before, but all Osprey packs <laughs> have got a whistle in the top buckle there. Just uh, in case you fall over and snap your nut bag and you're like that. Ugh. Ugh. On a mountain, you slide that. You've had one too many glasses of pims and you're on your flat out get to oh help quite loud anyway let's carry on carry on cycling and see what fungal delights we can find the fungarium let's go I spotted these from the track look is there any on the other side Oh, there's some up there. Can I climb it like... Maybe. Meb's climb it. And these are... <sighs> Let's find your specimen. <sighs> Smell is phenomenal. These are oyster mushroom. Look at oh, lovely shroominess to them. Get my there. You are. Look at these stunners, man. And oh, you can tell they're oysters because the 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 gills go all the way down the stem and the stem actually penetrates into the wood it's not like a bracket fungus it goes into the wood and these are fantastic eating so <laughs> i've harvested these and there's some down here look and also i don't know if you can see there's some right up there but you know when you're in the middle of nowhere on your own i don't think it's wise to shimmy up a tree to get them. we'll have a few with breakfast but i'll take them home I'll take rest home. Wonderful. Paper Mozza's bag. Jack of all trades. Master of none. That's me. That's your boy. I'll try and wedge myself between these two and shimmy up. Muddy. Yes, mate. It's all in thighs. It's all in thigh power. <laughs> they got a bit muddy, but that's why this stream's here. <sighs> Cleaned up lovely, them. That was a bit rudimentary just dragging them off there, but <sighs> needs be. Beautiful. Not a bad crop. Right, I'll go, let's go cook a few up now and have them with a, as part of our full English breakfast in the woods. And then, oh, there's some weight in her. And then rest will be for my tea for the week. <laughs> right, let's go get a fire going anyway.
Right, look at this. See all these little white bits? Get me bag. These are all hedgehogs. Hedgehog shrooms, look. All through here. Snaking their way up. Off to the left. To the right. <laughs> up there. Here, look at it. There. All over there. Ah, oh, mate. Look at them. <laughs> they just keep going, man. This is ridiculous, look. All in here. Oh man, they just keep on going. I could just keep going up this, up the side of this hill. It's just littered. They keep going as well. The Hedgehog Kingdom. There's more than I can take, let alone more than I need. But I probably will take a few more choice specimens. Because <sighs> I can I can pickle them or dry them out. So I'll grab a few more and then we'll get cooking. The mushroom gods have shined favourably on me. Got me ferro rod and all my other bits of gubbins, and I got a knife. So, <laughs> always just scatter a few lighters around my packs, and luckily, I had one kicking about. So, simple as this. <laughs> there you go, easy life. Easy life. Not bothered about a few little bits of uh, detritus or bugs or whatever. Just want to get the main main offenders off.
I'll just season them shrooms up with a little dusting of salt and pepper. They're done. Let's get stuck in before it gets dark. Oh, little bit of brun sauce, mate. For all you're wanting to know about is the mushrooms, innit? There you go. This is the hedgehog mushroom. It's such a firm. Mmm. Mmm. Lovely firm texture and oyster is a bit. Mm. Ah. Beautiful. Again, such a meaty texture. Mm. A bit of brown sauce on there. I forgot my fork. Mmm. Wow. That's fresh, man. Look at it. Growing out at ground. Not so long ago. This one was growing out the side of a tree. Mmm. <laughs> Delightful. Look at this. Fried bread. Black pudding, not for not to everyone's taste, but certainly to mine. Mm. There's some beans that I'm gonna have to eat with a stick. <laughs> I've been out um, gallivanting about all day long. I know it doesn't seem like it, but I came out this morning and what time is it? Yeah, the day's got away from me, three o'clock, so I've only got an hour's worth of daylight and I'm quite far away. I chucked my bike in the back of my truck and, and trucked out and then biked, so I'm quite far, far away. So I have to wolf this, mate, and it's hard showing you, but it's delicious. I've got some of these sausages well from Butchers. We've had nothing to eat all day. And it's three o'clock now, so this is delightful. Losing my light now, it's getting dusk. Kind of wish I was keeping out here, but... Look at that. No can do, no can kip. <coughs> Just got to get on my steed. A wonderful day, a wonderful day. Peaceful. Peaceful. Right, keep fighting the good fight, look after yourselves, I'll see you soon.